Hey, I'm Steve Okers. Sue Pasteur. Julie Bacon. And this is What's in the Cup. Hey, friends. Hey, hey. Cheers. We are enjoying our cups of beverages here in the Cannonsburg Lodge. Thank you, Cannonsburg, for having us out. We're really excited about being out here. And the minute I get out here and see the snow in the bunny hill, really, behind us, um, you know, this is West Michigan. We don't have ski slopes. We have bunny hills, right? Um, but it, it reminds me of the Olympics, right? Yes. Which start, what, this weekend, tonight. I believe? I tonight? Mean, tonight is opening tonight, ceremonies? Tonight is, tonight. Tonight is opening um, ceremonies. So Please you might be us. watching this like later on. So it's yes. not tonight. It's probably already passed. But we I just love the Olympics. I grew up watching the Olympics. Do you guys, yes. like, do you get into the Olympics or no? Like, I'm not necessarily winter. The only ones I remember from winter was the whole Tanya Harding, Nancy oh. Kerrigan. Oh, yeah. That's like a movie now, right? Like, I know. The, the beat up the knee like, thing. Oh, was, yeah. Like, that was a big thing. Deal. Like, you should have yeah. thought, right? I say, like, the yeah. ski jumping. You oh, know, mm -hmm. I cannot Amazing. imagine what it would take for me to try it at the first time. Mm -hmm. You think at some point somebody just launched themselves off of that. Like, that's right. that's amazing. So, yeah, we were talking about... I have about, a brother that does that stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. I, my knees go weak when I watch, watch videos. Of yeah. Yeah, I think the Olympics, though, for me, is all about the storylines of courage yes. and perseverance. Yes. Right? Like, it's... I don't know if I even care about the events half the time as it is the whole like what's going on before and how do they get to that spot to yes. be able to even participate in a race, right? Yes. Um, well, and so we always try to relate it back to our lives and to our business and um, those are kind of the inspiring stories. You watch those stories and you say, okay, if they can do that, I can do this. If they can <laughs> overcome that, I can do this, right? And it's yeah. just these story after story of courage and, um, and commitment. Commitment. Uh, insane. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's years and years, right? Yeah. I mean, of um, nothing else. Right. And it's fun. I mean, we're we're here and you're watching moms pull up and pull out <laughs> ski things and little kids and it's 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 amazing to be a dad and you guys being parents as well to to have uh, a son and a daughter say, I want to, I want to yes. achieve something in life. And the Olympics is that for me, it's just that ability well, to, yeah. to achieve. But this year has not been fun, right? What's your tagline? <laughs> Don't dope. Don't dope, right? <laughs> Don't dope, right? There's no shortcuts There's no to shortcuts success. No, to no success. Shortcuts. So why did you say that? Tell us the story. Yeah. Well, Russia, Russia is yeah. kicked out of the Olympics this because year. of yeah. doping. Yep. They're trying to make themselves better by taking a shortcut. Yep. And we were discussing that, and that's where hashtag don't, don't dope, dope. Yep. came from. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's just, um, it's sad, right? Because mm -hmm. there's hundreds of athletes in Russia, and I'm sure there's a significant amount of them that didn't. Yes. But when an organization takes it upon themselves to help a couple, um, it, it's, it's just sad, right? Um, and so no one then knows who actually doped and who didn't, and, and it's, it's just listening to the stories. Um, and you hear the other athletes, I've heard a couple of uh, recent uh, interviews of athletes saying, I really wish that athlete could um, come because I'm afraid that my Olympic medal won't be as important, right? Because sure, we're missing were the other athletes yeah. that they wanted to compete with. Doped or not, they yeah. still wanted to compete. So um, I think just in life, we, we consistently are trying to teach our children and teach each other like, hey, there is no shortcuts. Like, yeah. No. It is hard work, and it is you just have to put the hours in sometimes. Well, and I think, um, you know, just when I think about that, you said the organization, like as as an organization, the Russian organization, they, they yep. made a choice that affected more Everyone. people. So there's times in our business, and whether it's as from a corporate standpoint or an individual standpoint, yep. you have to take the high road, and it's going to be really, really hard. Yep. Um, I'm going to tell a quick story about it. So CBS made a decision, I listened to this on a leadership thing, that they were going to take the high road and they were going to stop selling cigarettes at CBS. They went to the board yep. and it was going to cost them a billion dollars. Yeah, a I remember this billion. Article. And they said, we're, it's not healthy. We're, we're a pharmaceutical company. And they were so afraid of that short-term loss that they couldn't see the bigger picture and now I heard this morning as I was coming in like CVS exceeded their goals and is doing amazing things and kind of coming back to this Olympics or personal organization taking the high road is hard and yep. sometimes you're gonna to lose money yeah. or sometimes yep. you're gonna lose you know social status or whatever um, but don't dope 
Don't go. <laughs> yeah, don't go. Right? <laughs> yep. We learned from the Russians. Don't, don't, don't go. Don't, yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> that is the Olympics 2018, yes. <laughs> and let's, let's wrap That's it up, lesson. right? That's a big lesson. Yeah, so thanks so much for following along and doing life with us. This is What's in the Cup. I'm Steve Okers. Julie Bacon. Oops, Sue Pastor. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.